Welcome back to another episode of the Experts in Fire podcast. I'm your host, Mike Venard, and with me today is Randy Mowry. Today's episode is a deep dive into the Montego Prodigy fireplace. Let's get into it. Hey, Randy, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing fantastic, Mike. How's it going over on your end, sir? <laughs> Beautiful, awesome. Michigan is the best. It's the best, it's the best, it's the best until winter comes. But hey, for now. We're going to enjoy it now because it is beautiful outside. Right? So Randy, today we are going to talk about one of our key partners, our Firebrand partners, and that is Montego. And Montego Fireplaces offers an amazing option for folks called the Prodigy fireplace it's big it's beautiful and it is i guess what we would call semi customizable um there are certain options to size to it that we'll get to here but tell me randy what is some of the uniqueness to the prodigy unit from montego yeah this is this is a great episode to do uh, on this unit and just give it its day the prodigy unit it's geared towards like, you know, luxury residential, you know, like commercial properties, meaning like clubhouses, you know, restaurants, hospitalities, you name it. This fireplace, it has, geez, Mike, like over 150 different configurations. And the cool thing about it is it's no heat. So we have real fire. So it's a gas fireplace, direct fire fireplace, but it generates no heat into, you know, said living space or clubhouse space or restaurant space, Mike, which is a big, you know, which is a nice draw. That's, you know, th that's what this unit is really designed to do. You have this elegant fire, but we're, you know, it's moving the heat away from everything. So you still have this beautiful fire. Yeah, that's it. That's a huge uh, opportunity for people to take advantage of is having that. And Randy, we've been into different hotel spaces uh, as you and I have traveled together. We're both nerds. We've got to go look and see, you know, whose fireplace is it? Right, right. But this has been something that companies have been going after for years. And that's that opportunity to walk into a hotel lobby and not get smoked out what we call smoked out right it's just so warm in there because the fireplace is on and the prodigy solves that it, it is a huge solution for that and i'm always shocked you know when when we went out and visited montego and they had different uh pieces burning there's just no heat there's none yeah and that's a that's a thing that folks really like about this unit in places like la you know, or Houston, Austin, where there's, where there's these towns are really hot and they don't want that heat in the space, but maybe they want this thing going at nighttime all the time for that ambiance and things like that. But like you said, we just don't want the heat in the space. And that's what this unit is going to do. We're going to get into like all the different options and sizes, but it's going to just offer this unique fireplace, beautiful fireplace without all that heat. When you think about no heat, there's a lot of engineering that goes into it. Uh, and shout out to the engineers over there at Montego. They do an awesome job. And it's it's pretty phenomenal to see, you know, as soon as we heard, yeah, there's, there's no heat, then you start going, okay, what are my other hiccups that I'm going to have to get around then, right? There's going to be heat somewhere. How does this work? What, you know, finishing materials. Do we have to bring in fireboard? What are we talking about? And I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, you can bring your finishing materials directly to the fireplace. Correct. Yes. With these units, you can attach it right to the fireplace and bring that finished material essentially right to the glass. So one of the standard you know, features that people are drawn to this thing is what they call frameless glass. And if it's a like a bay window or corner style unit, it's postless, meaning it just you have two glass, two sections of glass, these double glass that butts to each other. You don't have like a metal post that's impeding that view. It allows you to bring that finished material right to this glass without having to have all this trim around it like we see in a lot of other fireplaces yeah yeah and it's really it, it's working through the how behind it engineering the how behind it and then uh putting it all together is so impressive and what they've brought together with the prodigy unit uh and i'm excited to talk about it one, one of the key things that i love about it as well because you've heard me talk about this in other episodes it is compatible with home automation yes as you know because you have a lot of it you know going yourself you have all these home automation systems what you know 
whether it's in a home or even in some commercial spaces where they're using some type of automation system and you're going to be able to use that and connect it with the with the Prodigy series to be able to control that from some type of digital display someplace. This is a really awesome unit. We're so excited to partner with Montego on this and offer it. Uh, we're the exclusive online for Montego Fireplaces, as well as the exclusive online for the Montego Prodigy here at Woodland Direct. Randy, let's run through some of the standard features so that uh, the folks who are listening will get an idea of uh, what we're talking about and how this unit functions. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we already touched on it a little bit, but the the standard like features and components that are gonna um, that they're gonna ship with the unit are the frameless glass, like we talked about, and if you're doing a a corner unit or a bay window version, it's gonna have uh, no posts, no pedal posts in the corner, so it's just gonna be that glass meets glass. Um, they're all gonna have a like a linear ribbon style burner inside of them. Where with a high-low flame control to it. Because these are no heat, they, but they also have what they call a cool pack, cool pack glass system, so it eliminates the need for a safety barrier. We've talked in previous episodes about direct vents, and they have like these child protective screens that go in front of them. With the Prodigy series in this cool pack glass, that eliminates that. So it is just glass, and it's a cool touch glass, so you're not gonna burn yourself so that we don't have the need for that child protective screen, which is another great draw, Mike. Yeah, I tell you what, man. When I remember when the screen barrier rule came out and everybody was scrambling to get screen barriers on and it it was smart because direct vent glass gets so hot but then it was a race to who has the best looking screen who has the most transparent screen you know which and so we heard all the different pitches and I I mean every customer's different you just don't know so there was a niche that everybody kind of grabbed a hold of and it was neat to watch it happen and I gotta say there are some manufacturers that we work with that when you watch walk by uh, in a showroom or at a show and you look, you go, is there a screen? Oh yeah, there it is. So they've done an excellent job, but Montego with this prodigy just went the complete opposite and said, nah, don't even need a screen because the glass is cool to touch. Impressive, Randy. Yes, it definitely has. Definitely been a game changer in doing these gas fireplaces in homes. And like I said, like commercial properties as well. Definitely a game changer you have fire-related questions and we have answers, you can email us your questions at podcast at woodlanddirect.com or give us a call at 586-221-3638. We would love to be able to answer them right here on the Experts in Fire podcast. What else does it offer? So with the, sticking with the standard features, um, they have a really nice LED lighting system. Uh, it's called their up lighting that can be used with or without the flame. So if you don't want the flame on, you can still shine those lights up through whatever your media is. You know, if it's like a fire glass media, something like that. So that's a standard feature of the LED lights. Speaking of media, you have, you'll have your choice of, they have their fire beads, these little round smooth fire beads. They have cut fire glass. You kind of have like your standard cut looking fire glass colors. And then they also have fire glass stones. So they're shaped kind of like a a stone rock or something like that, but it's actually fire glass. It's still smooth. And then with each fireplace, now this is going to depend on, because we like we talked about no heat. It generates heat. Where is it going? So they come with a power vent. So that power vent can either be a roof power vent, that it can either be a side wall, so you're doing a horizontal vent through the side wall, or that can also be an inline uh, vent system, power vent. So, so there's three different options. So based on the installation, it's gonna come with one of them. We just, we just allocate which one at the time of order for it. When it comes to this unit being semi-customizable, uh, there are, are gonna be a lot of questions that we need answered as we walk through the process. And I'm glad you brought that up because that is uh, the heartbeat of how this unit is able to function is on those systems being able to pull that air out of there, pull that heat out of there uh, and kick it somewhere else. So that's a good point you're making there, Randy. So did we swing through, you talked about the uh, fire glass and stones. Did you talk about the optional media that comes with it as well? 
No, not yet. So they have uh, essentially like three different optional medias that somebody can choose. You can do like a driftwood log set, for example, they have. They have speckled ceramic stones. They can go as far as a media on uh, versus the fire glass. If somebody, the cer- they're ceramic stones, Mike. So a lot of folks would do like a ceramic stone and then a driftwood log set on it just to kind of give it a little bit different look versus just fire glass. And then also on the fireplaces, they also offer a reflective glass panels for the backside. Like, so for example, if, if you have a stand or front facing unit the panels on the inside are black well you can also opt for that left and right in the very back panel to be a reflective glass so that it really kind of it mirrors it's going to give you that illusion of bigger flame more light you know it just enhances the whole inside of that unit but it is an it's an optional accessory that someone can do not necessary the reflective glass panels are impressive i you know when i first heard about them i was like eh Eh. And then when you walk through and see them, it is impressive at the depth that it brings um, and and really the life. For me, the life of the fire that kind of dances, it made me a believer. I, I really like the re- reflective glass panels. It does. It makes such a difference. It is just so cool looking. So, Randy, we, we, we've talked a little about the optional uh, media. We've talked about some of the standard features. I know... Um, one of the reasons you want to get a prodigy is because of its ability to come in different sizes. And, you know, when I when I hear that, I think we work with a lot of designers. We work with a lot of contractors who are working with designers to try and get a certain feel or effect or, um, you know, something maybe a little out of the ordinary, not just a unit that goes into the wall. So what types of styles uh, does the Prodigy come in? Another great thing about this fireplace, so you have your standard single-sided unit, meaning just f- open on the very front. They have a see-through version, meaning um, you can see from one room to another. Now, whether that is like a, we'll call it a wall barrier, like in a restaurant, you can see from the, you know one dining area to the other, or dining room to living room in a home, or also they have an outdoor kit. So if it's if it is in a restaurant, you want to see from the dining area to the patio outside, or the same into that house, whether it's in the living room to the outside patio. So the see-through kit. Then they also have corner units, and they make them with a right return or a left return. So if you want it on the corner of your wall, uh, but you want that glass to kind of return to one side or the other of the wall. And then they also have bay. Some people call it a bay or a panorama, meaning three-sided glass. So you have a, you have your left and right wings and then your main glass. So you have essentially those four different styles that are available. And then the sizes. The sizes, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say... Uh, it yeah that's that's where it gets uh super intriguing because as as i'm listening to you go through the styles i'm picturing all of the fireplaces we've ever you know you you and i sit through the trainings we go through these things but you all of a sudden throw sizes in there and i'm looking at these numbers just going that changes the picture in my head of the available styles so walk us through it man yeah so you know your standard sizes you know width wise are going to be like three foot four foot five foot six foot seven foot and then eight foot so those are your standard widths but mike it it gets better (laughs) (laughs) because the heights so the the standard heights are um and we're we're talking heights for the glass opening it's here here like that viewing area uh 12 inch 20 inch 30 inch 36 inch and then 60 inch so you know if you want something that's taller than wide you could literally do a three foot wide by you know 60 inch five foot tall fireplace yeah it it, when you say 60 inch tall that's impressive i mean five feet tall you're talking well my daughter is like five three now something like that five four that's as tall as your kid you you start to go man that is impressive so you can see eight feet wide i mean you that's impressive i'm sitting here thinking of a sheet of plywood and you could make this thing bigger than a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood (laughs) exactly exactly The combinations that you can work with there have been great with, you know, like you said, you've mentioned like the designers and our architects and from their standpoint, they they just love the different configurations that they can work with and, and, and get that frameless glass with the different options and, and, and really 
get it to fit with their client's expectations and their what they're seeing visually in their head of what they want um has been a prodigy has been a great ad for the you know that yeah it goes beyond the uh builder who's out there and he's going i need three fireplaces to put into each home that i build uh, super valuable um so thankful for the builders who have been calling us and upgrading their fireplaces from just the standard cheapest box that they can find um and really giving the clients what they're looking for but this takes it up a notch to where most builders will be able to say, hey, we're going to have a fireplace here, a fireplace here, a fireplace here. And it allows that builder and designer to go, well, the client is looking for this. You know, something when you walk into this space that's going to be impressive, that's going to be uh, larger than just three foot long kind of or, or even you know, we sell a lot of 60 inch fireplaces right now on the width. They want something that's going to be more substantial. Man, we have that option. Yeah, the impact. You know, they, they want that that wow. When, you know, when they enter that space, that, that it's just like that wow, that that impact that just knocks your socks off. And, and that's what these things are doing for folks. And what makes it amazing, Randy, is all the way back to the beginning, you can put it anywhere. You can put it in Southern California. You can put it in Texas. You can put it in Florida. You can put it in any one of the hot states around the country. Love them all. Been to them all. Beautiful. Uh, absolutely love them. But I also understand when I lived in Texas, your air conditioning doesn't shut off until 2 a.m. <laughs> and then it kicks back on at 7.30. So you're in a place where who would add heat? Well, it's not adding heat. Uh, and that's what makes it uh, so impressive. So uh, I, I just love the opportunity that we've been given here uh, by Montego to put the prodigy in front of everybody. Randy, I know you've got some quotes out there and you're working with this uh, unit. Is there anything that you would that you would say to our listener base if they're looking for? You know what I mean? What what would you say to them? Yeah, so it goes back to um, the design and the look of this unit. If you're looking for the cleanest fireplace that you can find with no trim, you want to be able to run your super nice, you know, finished materials right to the edges of the material with no frame, and you want to put that TV or maybe it's a a very expensive painting that you're working with that you have that you want to put above said fireplace the prodigy is going to be a great fireplace to look at you know just give us a call we can run through you know the the sizing that's going to fit with that design the media that you're going to look for because of all the different and, and the style there's just there's so many different styles that you can put together those packages to meet that look sounds great randy and as always we thank everyone for listening if you have any questions about the month Tigo Prodigy. Don't hesitate to give us a call. We have Master Hearth Professionals standing by waiting to take that call. And really the major question they always ask and they're trained and trained and trained to ask is tell me about your project. So if you feel that the Prodigy is going to fit in here when they say tell me about your project, let them know. This is what I'm looking for and we'll be happy to help. And Randy, as always with you, sir, thank you for taking time out of your day when you could be off making a living. You're here hanging out with us and talking about really cool stuff so thank you brother i appreciate it absolutely everyone have a good afternoon join us next time for gas and wood bands what you need to know and alternatives to consider we'll see you then